Our mission as a Catholic healthcare system is to ensure the healing ministry of Jesus and focus on individuals' health and well-being across the entire life cycle of people that we serve. One of the ways that we do that is through our palliative care services. Palliative care is a special kind of care for patients who have serious medical illness. And when we think of serious medical illness, it would range from heart failure to COPD to cancer. And the focus is to help patients with these various serious illnesses cope with the illness, have the best quality of life possible, while providing them some relief from their illness. The goal of palliative care is to help them enjoy their life as best as they can. And it's appropriate at any age and at any stage and palliative care can happen along with curative treatment. My mother's name was Yvonne Nelson and she enjoyed her grandchildren, loved to go to the sports, never missed anything. She was known by a lot of the kids on the team as Grandma Honey and a lot of parents would come up and say, um, they're so glad that grandma was there because their grandma and grandpas don't come. And they would have their pictures taken with her and always see how she was doing. And she was 97 when she passed away. This whole week when we knew that she was going to pass, it was in my little granddaughter's heart. She told her twin sister she was crying in the bedroom. There were three people there, I can't even tell you who they were. And they said, we've got to do something for this little girl. They were talking to me, I got some books. Of course, I read them first. And it was quite a while ago now, but one I remembered it about, it's everything comes to an end. You know, a beginning, a middle, and an end. And it's different for different people. When it came to things changing all the time, so fast, palliative care was there all the time. They'd say, you want to go in the conference room for a little while? And I'd say, yeah, I, you know, I've, sometimes I'd say, no, I don't want, you know, I'm not in the mood, because if I knew if I opened my mouth, I'd start crying. But most of the time I went, and they listened, and I more or less thought out loud. The decisions, they helped me make one step at a time. We didn't look way ahead. It was a, like a journey as we went. And every time I left the room, I said, you know, I feel good about this decision. And by the time I'd leave that room, I'd, I'd know that I was doing the right thing, and that was very important to me. As chaplain, when I initially meet the patient, I do an assessment of their spiritual and emotional needs, and I am able to focus primarily in those areas. But I also think of the family and the stress that may be on the family as they seek to also support the patient. A lot of times when I see patients, I do a lot of listening so that I hear their life story. I try to learn what things are important to them, what makes their life meaningful and purposeful, and then see ways to support that. Palliative care services is one of those great examples of what we need to be able to do to cover the life cycle of individuals that we serve. We are so grateful and thankful to you as community members and donors to allow us to be able to offer these services.